Hi and welcome to the film review of the movie Bicycle Thief. Bicycle Thief is an Italian neorealism drama film which directed by Vittorio De Sica. The story is about a poor father who is searching the post-World War II Rome for his stolen bicycle. Without the bicycle, he will lose his job which is important to save his family. So let's get into it. The first aspect that we're going to see about this film is the form and star. This film relates to the classical Hollywood narrative and it makes excellent use of film form, mise-en-scene, and cinematography. This film progresses in a linear style with no major lapse in time. This will take the viewers into an emotional journey, having them to feel the desperation and frustration of Antonio as his search continues. In this film, the viewers can see clearly how Antonio went through a process of change. For example, his character is first portrayed as a relative high moral standard man, but by the end of the film, he compromised his value by threatening to kill people, become more hostile towards his son, and attempting to steal a bike. This creates a contrast with Antonio's initial character, which dramatizing the film. The theme of this film is enhanced by the use of mise en scene, especially with the lining, costume, and props. These aspects are used to immerse the audience into the moment and imply the hidden meaning behind a particular scene. For example, low key lining is used when Antonio is consulting with the officer, which enforces his desperation during the scene. In the restaurant scene, the lower status of Antonio's family is shown by the clothing as they are wearing a plain and dark clothes contrasting with the wealthy family which their clothes is very elaborate and well made. The props in Antonio's house which is bare and have only few decorations will reinforce Antonio's poetry and bad luck. This film also made great use of cinematography by using different sizes of shots to capture emotion and perspective. Close-out shot of Antonio's face is used to reveal the frustration and exhaustion he is feeling. This shot really helps the viewers relate with Antonio and makes them to feel exactly what he is feeling. A long shot is used to reveal a huge track of bikes at the stadium, which implies Antonio's compensation of stealing one of the bikes. Even though this film meets many characteristics of the classical Hollywood narrative, there was no happy ending in the end, which is a divergence from the star. Antonio never recovers his bicycle with no hope of returning to his job. Although most of the Hollywood films are designed to leave the viewers feeling good, this film may leave many viewers depressed and without closure. After all, this film perfectly captures the failure and injustice in life, which is likely conjures up similar memories of hardship in the viewer's mind. Hence, the classical Hollywood narrative, the film form, mise-en-scene, and cinematography all work together to create a compelling movie filled with emotion and suspense. So that's all for form and star. So the next aspect that we're going to see is the film portrait and representation of Italian society in 14s. The film portrait from this film is mainly the cause after the war to the citizen in Italian. This film emphasizes the struggling of an average man, Antonio, to find work after the World War II, which also was a representation of Italian society at that time. This film also implied to take a deeper look into the social problem of life. This film portrays a moral man who placed in a very difficult economic and social circumstances, become beat down by his environment and compromise his morality in an effort to survive. All of this portrait and representation will give the viewers an understanding of the Italian society in 14s and clarify the message that the director and writers were trying to convey. So that's all about it. Thank you for watching and see you again.